Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Taurus, what do we have for you? What do we have for Taurus, please? Okay. All right. So Taurus, you might be divine feminine or you are dealing with divine feminine. What I, but what I am getting here that in your relationship is on the horizon for you. For some of you, you might have met already this person or like you are in touch with a new person. Maybe you are dating this new person. Uh, if that's the case, I'm getting very strongly here that you might be dealing with someone and you know, I feel that I feel that, you know, this connection, it's okay, but momentarily you're kind of getting an impression that this person might be uh, a, a little bit of a runner in the sense of like, um, maybe they're giving you impression that when you start talking about, um, let's say, uh, plans or if you are making some sort of plans and let's not say that they are serious. Uh, this person it's like you know they are taking step back and you might be getting that impression that there might be a little bit of a run and maybe they just uh, they are afraid of uh, it's like that they have tendencies to running away there is something about this person I'm getting that you might be dealing with here Taurus who is um, who doesn't want to talk about the future and it's like they like what is happening in the present. I'm getting very strongly that this is someone who is very insecure. They maybe they carrying heavy baggage from the past regarding their previous relationship, and it's like they want to kind of take it slowly. And I feel that this person has tendencies holding back. And here is the thing. With this energy, I feel that you kind of coming from the place, well, if I really care about this person, I need to be more strategic in the sense of um, maybe I should change my attitude. But it's not like, I feel you don't want to end this connection. It's like you want to kind of, it's like you don't want to scare this person, if that makes sense. You know, it's like you want to come across as someone who is very understanding and who just that's fine if you want to take it slowly you know ba kind of baby stuff that's absolutely fine i'm fine with it it's like i feel that you kind of feel that you need to change um oh it's like that this person it's um it's different therefore your your um how can i how can i say oh, gosh i've forgotten the word um it's not like you maybe even yeah i can say it maybe that way your attitude has to be uh different towards them you know that's why we have this energy of strategy stra strategy sorry for my pronunciation but it's like i feel that you are very logical you understand a lot i feel that you are a very good observer you kind of can read people even if it's just like a communication for uh, let's say that you're just sending messages right I feel that you just can read between the lines. You kind of, you are very good. You possess this very strong emotional intelligence and you kind of can understand. You just know what's going on. And because I can see that you are clear minded here, you know, and it's like you are thinking through how, how to approach this situation, because I feel that of course you would want this person to open up. But I feel that you didn't care with someone who has like a trust issues and, and they need to be 100% sure, you know, that, that they can trust you uh, at this point. We have birds. You might be seeing robins, crows or magpies, you know, maybe you, you, are, you love birds in general, you know. But this is also energy of, you know, mm, people 
talking. So I, I'm seeing communication between the two of you. But I, it's like, I feel that this person, yeah, this is someone who can, uh, who needs to do the work, obviously. They might get very easily triggered. And they, I feel this is someone who doesn't like facing problems, who doesn't like, uh, if there is something that doesn't kind of, you know, suits them in, in a sense, this person has no problems to kind of run away or, you know, kind of distance themselves. That's what I'm getting. And it's everything, the reason why, because this person is operating from the place of fear, insecurities. You didn't kill someone who is very insecure. But I feel that you have the situation under control here, Taurus. Show me more. Magician. Okay. So you are very powerful. Spirit wants you to know that you possess everything to achieve your goals. You might be dealing with Virgo Gemini. Four of Cups. There is something that makes you feel dissatisfied or disappointed on an emotional level. Excuse me. And I feel this is like you're putting all your effort but it's you might be feeling momentarily that it's it's like it's not enough but it is at the same time you know what i mean therefore you kind of well i don't know what else i can do here seven of swords hmm. queen of cups interesting Queen of Wands. You're dealing here with someone, Taurus, who has trust issues with the Seven of Swords. This, this person is very much in their head. They're assuming a lot. And I feel that this person was lied to. Someone was very defaced towards them. Uh, they are very suspicious because previously this person was put in a third party situation with the queen of wands and i feel that they really trusted their ex-partner or something like this uh, also something like this or someone like you know someone with whom they were connected on emotional level and this person was very kind of emotionally open or in a sense of they were emotionally available and they had so much love to give, but it's like they got tricked because they dealt here with someone who was very sneaky, who had secrets and who lied to them. And I feel that this person that you are connecting, that we are connecting in this reading for you, they've experienced a situation where their ex or their previous partner was at the same time in a relationship with someone else. That's why they are kind of, that's why, that's why I'm, I was getting this baggage. This is someone who, who has feelings for you, Taurus, but they have trust issues. We have a nine of swords and ten of swords. And the hermit. What I am getting very strong to hear also, Taurus, is that you've been through a lot. You might be dealing with Virgo. Seven of Wands. That, that I feel that, you know, it's like you both have a common experience here that you can share and bond over. But um, what I am seeing that also there was a person that you truly care for. And and this person pushed you away with the seven of wands. They they pushed you away. They 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 rejected you. I'm getting very strongly, and I feel that it was very difficult to overcome. And I and and what I am getting here that you wanted to move on really really quickly from that feeling. Nine of swords. This person caused you a headache. And then, you know, and I feel that was a situation that was like, a, it took some time to overcome. But with the Ten of Swords, I feel that at some point you felt that no matter how much effort you will put regarding this connection, 
uh, there is no feedback. This person is just not interested. They are completely in a different place and it just doesn't make sense to kind of, you know, be involved in this. And with the Ten of Swords, what I'm getting from that energy and that, that kind of set of cards is that you've surrendered to the situation. It was like, I don't know what to do next. No matter how much I try, this person doesn't want this. Therefore, there is nothing else I can do. I need to surrender to the situation. And it was an emotionally painful ending that happened here between you and this individual. But with the hermit, I feel that you were, that you've been for a very long time or you were in a very long time in a hermit mode. And it kind of, you outgrown the situation. There is a growth very strongly here emphasized by this card. And you are very uh, wise. You have this experience and you see things differently now. So it feels like you share here a very similar experience regarding a uh, love life in general with this new person. If you haven't met this person already, um, or if you haven't met this person yet, I should maybe I guess how I should say it, it's this is someone who is showing up in your energy. So I'm getting that even in next month if you're going to meet them. Show me love life for Taurus, please. Free of pentacles at this time you might be focusing on your work related situation this person might be from your workplace as well or somehow connected with your work related matters it's like you're working on a on a maybe um, project together it doesn't have to be the case we have the empress so we have this divine feminine energy double confirmation Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, very grounded, Taurus. Obviously. <laughs> Page of Cups. Oh my gosh. King of Wands and a High Precious. Okay, so Taurus, you might be dealing with another Taurus. I have a Virgo and also Gemini energy and Pisces energy so far in this reading. Leo as well. Taurus, someone here, um, someone here who disappointed you that we were talking a few seconds ago about. It's showing up in your love life. Oh my gosh. You're going to hear from this person. So it's compli it's complicated. Two of pentacles here in the middle look of your reading suggests that you will have a choice between two people. One person is from your past who was holding a secret. Uh, and it feels may I feel that you share very strong soul connection with this person this is person from your past it's going to kind of I see communication of affection here it's showing up with the page of cups it's not much it's like you know trying to figure out things if you are willing to talk to them but this person hasn't forgotten about you Taurus really but I feel that there is no contact situation at the moment between the two of you with this high priestess. It's someone who is quiet, who gone quiet. And then we have this three of pentacles, the empress and the six of pentacles. You see, the thing is about this new person is that this, I'm getting that you might be indeed dealing with divine feminine or you are divine feminine. But um, what I am getting is that I feel if, if you met this person, I feel that you really care about them. And this is a mutual feeling. This person cares about you as well. And they see you as someone who's very understanding, very attentive with the six of pentacles, someone who can, um, who can be a great team player, like a partner that, you know, it's like you can, this person sees you as someone who's very flexible in the sense that, um, you are willing to compromise because at the end of the day there is a common goal that both of you share creating this beautiful connection 
Empress is a beautiful sign when it comes to love related matters, in, I mean, in, in any kind of you know, area of, of, of our life. Having Empress in the reading, it's a great sign because this is just energy of prosperity, abundance, good luck, good fortune, and just feeling good about the whole situation. Empress represents just expansion and growth. So, you know, advancement, things going to progress in the right direction. That's what Empress represents in this case. But someone else going to reach out, Taurus, it's complicated. I can see that it is. Maybe for some of you, you just know that it's not. But I cannot escape the feeling that you share very strong soul connection with this past person. Mm -hmm. And with the strength, I feel that uh, you're going to be very diplomatic about the whole situation, whatever that means. But there will be dilemma regarding love related matter for some of you. For some of you, I feel that you know exactly, you know already who you want and with whom you want to be. Show me near future, please, for Taurus. Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups, my gosh, yeah. And the Knight of Swords. You have a chaser, Taurus. Chaser, there is a person here that is showing up in the near future. Expect communication. Someone wants to clear the air with you. With the Ace of Swords, it's like they, they want to talk. They want to bring more clarity. They have something to say with the Knight of Swords. They are rushing in. They feel that they need to address something. This is someone here who made you feel that you are an option, not a priority. Well, they want to talk. The thing is that you don't trust this individual. You're putting very, very strong and hel healthy boundaries. And I feel, you know, this is someone also who has, you know, who has very strong defense mechanism. They show that. This is a past person. That's what I'm getting. They're going to chase you. And with the Seven of Cups, it, it, it suggests here that, you know, I feel that this person brought enormous amount of confusion to the whole situation. It's like they projected some sort of illusion. They were mm, making promises here. They didn't deliver. And it's like they're feeling that they, that they have, it's like they're feeling that in order to have a chance for a new beginning, um, they want to, um, they do, they feel that they need to kind of come with some sort of clarity and with honest communication. With an honest communication. But I'm getting here someone who is very good with their words, who know exactly how to pull the heartstrings. And a little bit of a word salad I'm getting with the Seven of Cups. This is someone who's been very wishy-washy. And now they're rushing in. They have something to say. They're going to chase you because they want to have this conversation. They want to express something here to us. It's like they own you an explanation. But, um, and Seven of Cups is this options, you know, that I feel that, you know, there is this choice that it's showing up in your energy outcome nine of wands yeah not trusting the oh my gosh yeah you have someone here who's coming back coming back around with the will of fortune taurus you might be dealing with another taurus i'm also getting aquarius scorpio leo sagittarius as well is highly associated with the will of fortune so they might be Sagittarius. Yeah. Six of Cups in your outcome is that someone here feels very nostalgic about you. Uh, it's like um, they are reminiscing about good times that they shared with you. Six of Cups is a major energy of the past that wants to resurface itself again. King of Pentacles represents this person, which... Um, in which which is an indication that this is someone here who kind of wants to 
it wants to show to you that they means business that they are serious because they are holding this pentacle energy and it's like they are matching your energy that and i'm getting that they're coming with an offer because they're holding it after all this pentacle so it's like they do want to make an offer but it's more about them presenting themselves in a certain light it's like you know uh i have so much to offer i'm bringing a lot to the table i'm stable i am all about a long-term commitment stability this is what i want this is what i'm coming with nine of wands you don't trust this person gosh we we are she, that's the thing right we have a new relationship that i you know we want to talk about i feel very strongly for you taurus for some of you very strongly you want to just move on uh, very quickly from this past situation but it's like this person's overtaking this reading and with the six of cups it's like a double confirmation yeah they're coming this is someone that you have history with Taurus will of fortune will of fortune is an overall energy for this reading suggests that you know if certain things been quite challenging or difficult you can expect an incredibly positive change everything will start falling into place because will of fortune itself it's bringing good luck good fortune abundance and prosperity again it's a complete change of circumstances that it's showing up. It also represents that someone wants to come back around. Mm -hmm. The thing is that it's something very, very destined and kind of with this Wheel of Fortune, because Wheel of Fortune represents destiny. So it's like ugh, this whole situation feels with this past person as well and with the new person that you might meet very soon or maybe you've already met it's like it's like it's beyond your control or beyond our control in general because certain events are right and um and i feel that it's like um gosh i feel that there will be this conversation with this past person and it's like they will try to kind of this is someone who will be talking a lot about the past but about the good moments and I feel that at some point they will tell you that they are now ready to to be in a stable connection and there will be you have a dilemma Taurus about that particular love related situation and at the end you know the choice of course it's yours but I am seeing here that uh, things will be happening that's for sure that's for sure Taurus wow I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly appreciate you Taurus have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and once again thank you very much for being with me love and light till next time take care bye